You're the best EMT ever. For the first time since her horrific motorcycle accident, Nicole Galley is seeing her angels in the sky, the team that saved her life. When they see people like me and help people with such traumatic accidents the way I had, it helps them to know that what they're doing is good. Last June, Nicole and her partner Matthew were leaving Temiskaming Shores, heading west on Highway 65, when they struck a bear. Matthew sustained minor injuries, but Nicole faced serious injuries, losing her left leg. That bear crossed our path and everything changed in a split second. It was these Orange Air Ambulance responders who airlifted Nicole from the scene of the crash to Health Sciences North and later to a Toronto trauma centre. We don't often get a chance to see people that, uh, that we've cared for. Um, Nicole is an exception. Uh, she was an incredible patient. Uh, we're just very, very happy that she's, she's progressed so well. It's the first time I've ever met a patient, actually. Um, I don't, pilots don't normally get involved with the patients too often. So it's really nice to see. Lizanne Stashu is one of the nurses from Health Sciences North who worked on Nicole. She says services like Orange are imperative. We've seen many cases where patients were in critical condition and had they not been picked up and transported in that time efficient manner with the skilled staff that Orange employs, you know, those patients would not make it. This meeting was possible after Nicole's partner Matthew reached out to Orange via Twitter, thanking them for their service. I sent a tweet to Orange and I just said, you know what, you guys are angels in the sky. You picked Nikki up off the road and you flew her to her first steps of recovery. And although it was a gruesome incident that brought this group together, Nicole says she's alive because of her first responding angels. I've said all along I lost a leg, but I didn't lose my life. So I'm going to make the best of it. Sean Grex, CTV News, Sudbury. Camp Quality is an oasis for 12-year-old Jacob Squarzolo of Sudbury. It's a chance for him to forget about his past struggles battling cancer and focus on just being a kid. It's a good place to get away because you just leave that stuff behind. For the fifth year, Jacob continues to make new memories with his camp companion Mike Coughlin and it's proving to be a match made in heaven. Just the feeling of um, connection with people, not just the, the camper that I feel connected with, but the entire Camp Quality family, the other campers, seeing them grow up. Mike, along with 130 other volunteers, take time out of their personal schedules to attend this yearly one-week camp in July. Yeah! And there's so much to do. Everything from archery to fishing and even woodworking. It's them that, that makes it all worth coming back. See every them smile. This year, Caitlin has been paired up with six-year-old camper Kaylee Jewers of Chelmsford, who has been off cancer treatment since January. My favorite part is the trampoline. Camp Quality is made up of kids from Sudbury, North Bay, Sault Ste. Marie and Kirkland Lake. Organizers say none of this would be possible if it wasn't for charitable donations. When people fundraise for us. Uh, we don't have any funding um, from outside sources, so it's all done donation wise. All in an effort to continue making a difference in young lives. Meantime, Jacob Squarzolo says he's already got his call to duty. I'll become a volunteer, I think, again, when I'm like uh, grown up, when I'm in my 20s and I'll probably, I think I want to be because, you know, I can have a camper, I can show him, I can show him the time of his life here and and then he can have as much fun or even more fun that I had uh, when I was a kid. Sean Crack, CTV News, north of Manetteville. This mural on Medina Lane in downtown Sudbury, created by artist and writer Danielle Daniel, is no longer just a vision, it's a reality. I'm born and raised in Sudbury and my heart beats here. It was a way for me to connect with my community and give back. Danielle was approached by Upfest organizers to create and paint a mural for this year's public art festival. It's a piece of art, she says, truly represents Northern Ontario. The blue chevron that you see represents our many lakes uh, and of course our black rock, um, our regreening efforts and success. Uh, then of course our, our mine, the nickel and copper underground. Um, the woman for me represents Mother Earth and holding the trees. Trees represent for me hope in the future. And then the antlers 
uh, represents my connection to the animal world, our connection to the animal world. As you can imagine, painting a mural takes a lot of hard work and dedication. Danielle says it took three long days and a team of about five to six people to complete it. With my artwork, I think I'm always trying to represent uh, identity and, and my Métis culture. Yeah. It's even caught the attention of the Northern Cancer Foundation, which decided to sponsor it. It's long been proven that there's a very strong therapeutic nature to art. Um, so for any of our patients who are able to see it or anybody that's, you know, experiencing any kind of illness or sickness, to be able to look at it and, and take the, the, you know, the calmness that it generates. Uh, she talks about hope when she talks about this mural. Um, our foundation is all about hope. Danielle's abilities to connect with people stretches even further. Her self-published children's book, Sometimes I Feel Like a Fox, has been picked up by a Toronto publisher. It's now available at the Chapters Bookstore in Sudbury and online. It explores 12 different totem animals, which act as spirit guides meant to teach us about ourselves. It was a really special moment and it made me realize just how much of my own heart go went into that book. And to Danielle, it's the heart that matters most when sharing her passion for art and storytelling. Sean Grex, CTV News, Sudbury.